Yo, what's going on guys, it's Keys Jake here, and I have a headache, so sorry if I, and I'm a little sick, so sorry if I sound a little sick, oh, whoa, <laughs> sorry if I sound a little groggy, and, uh, my voice is all messed up, I'm, uh, actually really sorry about that, no face cam, uh, I'm actually recording this in a face cam, but I'm not gonna do it, so I'm actually gonna write, I'm actually gonna do my thoughts on the Infinite Warfare stuff, I'm not gonna put, like, the trailer in there or anything, because copyright issues and stuff like that. I don't even, like, I know you probably won't get copyrighted, but I don't even want to mess with that right now. But it is the most disliked gaming trailer to ever be put on there. And so basically right now, Infinite Warfare is competing with Battlefield 1. And honestly, in my opinion, Ripcod, because Battlefield 1 looks amazing. Battlefield 4 was really good. Hardline was terrible. I'm going to say that right now. Hardline was pretty bad. But I am a big Battlefield fan. I've been playing since 2. Uh, bad Company, I think. And 3 was the my all-time favorite. I just got 4, which 4 is amazing. I would have put gameplay behind this, but I accidentally deleted it. So, you know, that can't happen. But honestly, I'm, I've am i pre-ordered both. I've pre-ordered Battlefield 1 and uh, Infinite Warfare. I got the deluxe version of Infinite Warfare. Yeah, I know. Oh, man, dude, you suck. You dropped $100 on it. Really? All I'm trying to get is COD 4, and I'm just waiting for the little kids that are used to, like, Advanced Warfare and, uh, what do we call it, Black Ops 3, and they get on there and they're like, where's my thruster pack? And then they can't thrust all over, and then all the people that have played COD 4, because I started in COD 4, that's where I started playing, just absolutely stomp. Like, there's no ifs, ands, or buts, we just stomp them. Uh and I'm actually kind of excited for Infinite Warfare because, you know, they could always set the multiplayer in some sort of point where there was an EMP and all the thrusters went out or something like that. And they could always set it to where something happened that you can't have the thrusters and maybe just in campaign, it's like a prelude to the, you know, to the multiplayer. And honestly, I think that would be a really cool way because honestly... Really, I know it like coding, it goes down further because they have to add animations and all this, but I think they should just scrap the movement system if they have a thruster movement system in there, which will probably be Black Ops 3 movement, but I hope it's not. I hope it's boots on the ground. And honestly, I'm not that angry about it being in space because that's just a setting. And settings, themes don't really matter. It's all about the gameplay and how it plays, in my opinion. And if it adds thrusters, it's not gonna play well for me because I, I just don't like them it's not my thing not what I grew up playing I grew up playing COD 4, Modern Warfare you know all those the same game but like Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops, Black Ops 2 all the COD Ghost yeah I grew up playing all those so I'm used to that I'm not used to Advanced Warfare, Black Ops 3 but that's all my opinion I understand why other people don't like it and I understand why people could like it but right now, it looks like a lot of people don't like it. Uh, and yeah, that's the video, guys. Uh, make sure to look, like, make sure you can tell your friends to look me up. I don't really care. Uh, but don't forget to leave a like. And if you enjoyed, press that subscribe button because it really, it's really appreciative. Well, makes me really appreciative of you. And leave a comment if you, if you're asking a question, I'll answer it. I read every single one. And peace.